If you are using tabs menu or you want to use tab menu, this tutorial is for you. So sometimes um, we have a tab navigation, but sometimes our content is big. And as you scroll down, you wish that this menu will stick to the top and scroll down with you. So you still have the context how in what tab you are and also you can still navigate so today we will do exactly this way uh, these things and it's super simple with a few lines of css we can solve it so this is my editor and this is a simple tabs navigation so i set the tabs menu as default and not stretched so the default is means that the tabs are um, not stretch across all the width, but each item takes its own part. Um, and this is how it acts on the live site. But when I have a lot of content, I want to ch I want to change the behavior of this tab navigation. So we will do it using CSS. But first, let's see how we can do it manually and then how we can implement it using CSS. So always when I'm working with Wix Studio components, I'm looking for uh, the CSS uh, uh, properties. So if I select the tabs and open the menu, the, um, the code panel, I can see in the CSS classes that I have multiple uh, selectors. So I have the tabs, tabs menu container, Everything is sound familiar, right? Uh, here, for example, this is the tabs container. So if I'll change the color, I can see that this is this is affected tab container. So it's a hint that we need to talk with the tab container, but we will see it on uh, the live example. So here you can see that we have um, we have a, a class called Wix UI tabs menu container. So it's related to the same element. So now let's see what CSS property we can add to make it uh, behavior as, as we like. And also we add another layer of styling that we can customize the styling. So um, our first thing that we want to do is to make it sticky. So let's add position sticky and we can see that nothing happened because we need to specify the top so let's say the top is zero but still we don't see nothing so the reason that we don't see nothing um, is because this um, this banner so this banner's height is 50 pixels so let's do 50 pixel stop. And now you can see that this is actually working. Uh, but if we will take a close look, we can see that this line, or it means that it's above our menu. So it means it's, it's a layer behind it. So we need to change uh, the height of it. So we can use Z index one, and now it's above our containers. And you can see that this entire strip is stick to the top. And when it stopped to be sticky, as it's reached to the bottom of the tabs comp components. Maybe this is what you want to do. And all you need to do is to copy these lines, three lines. And now let's go to the um, to the code and let's add our own CSS class because we want to affect only this one. We don't want to affect all the tabs that will be exist in the future and in the future in our website. So let's call it just for this example, my custom tabs. So this is my class. So let's open the global CSS. Now ignore all this old code. I don't need it. So let's edit my, sorry, my custom tabs. 
So this is the selector, the general selector. And now we can refer to the tabs menu container. So if I clicked on it, it's automatically edit right at the end, but we can edit right here. So we have our main uh, uh, main selector and then tabs menu container. Um, now I need to go back and copy it again because I copied something else. Now if I will put it right here, so you can see these green lines, it means that you can see the effect only on preview mode. You, do, you won't see it on the, on, the, uh, on the editor. So let's publish it very quickly and see how it behaves. So refreshing and and you can see that this is working so basically that's it but just a second we can take it even further so what we can do we can even add custom design so again let's select the container and now I don't want it to be a uh, hundred percent of the width like coast to coast I want it to take as much as the items so we can this is our style our custom style that we just add so let's add more so let's set the width to be max content okay now you can see if i will hover this class you can see that now it fills only the part of the buttons but we want it to be centered so we can add margin auto so now it's automatically so it's automatically at the center as you can see right here um, but it's very hard to see the difference right so let's add uh, for now um, a background and let's give it some grayish color like this one so now we can see the difference and also I don't want it to stick to the top um, like to the edge I want some gaps so let's add 70 pixels from top so now we have some air right uh, let's add some border radius so border radius uh, 10 pixels so now it's more um, subtle and I want to even add background uh, backdrop filter of blur of 10 pixels but we don't see any difference it's basically because our background is solid so we can make it a bit transparent and you can see what's happened to the content that is behind this menu um, so if we make it a bit darker okay and you know what it was looks nice like this and we can make our blur even even more like 20 now it's really like uh, blaring everything behind it let's go back to 10 we can even add uh, more properties for 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 example saturate uh, and we can make everything like to be much more uh, with stone color so if we'll do two you can see that the orange is getting much much strong uh, we can add a lot of uh, more properties but let's ju just keep it that way for now uh, so i will copy everything and now i will just update my code just like this and if i'll publish publish it so we can we need to get it um we need to go to, to get exactly the same behavior as we set in the editor so you can see that this is exactly what we are getting uh, i can improve my design a bit to add some margin i can even uh, select it again 
and uh, instead and I want to add margin from top and bottom for so I can set 10 pixels so now I do have some more air right around here and it's also stopped 10 pixels before uh, so you can see that in very small, like uh, very small code, you can customize your your components, um, and, and this is super uh, super cool when we are talking about mobile, because in mobile sometimes we have a lot of content. So when you when you are scrolling inside this tab area, you always get the context. You are on processes on process and you can skip to services and and still navigate very easily so that's it i hope you like it and until next time keep building amazing websites on wix studio